Joining me now, WDRV's Eric Crawford, Rick Bozich. Guys, we've been waiting and going through all the different ups and downs of this process for a name. It appears it's Pat Kelsey. Just your initial reactions to him as a fit for Louisville's coach. I, you know, Tyler, his record is solid, and he's been in one-bid leagues, and he's won his conference tournament five of 12 years. That's impressive. And I've talked to some people I really trust in the college basketball world, Fran Fraschilla of ESPN, Will Purdue, former Bull, uh, and the one thing they talk about is his energy. They say no Red Bull necessary with this guy. <laughs> he's off the charts in, in terms of energy. But it's a blank slate. He's moving up to a higher level of game, so we'll wait and see. Yeah, I heard Rick out in the hallway. Somebody came up and asked him. He said, well, he could be good. I think that's pretty much, I think that's pretty much the impression yeah. of, the, of him. And I think the blank slate that you mentioned, I think that obviously it's a, it's a down if you, if you wanted a name. But I think that will be a positive for him because I think as people learn about him, they will kind of like what they see. Absolutely. Stylistically speaking, when we talk about Pat Kelsey, I want to run a few stats for, from this season at Charleston. They were one of the uh, teams who shot the most three-pointers in the entire nation. They ranked 26th in the country in scoring, about 81 points per game. Right there, 31 threes a game. That's a lot. Ranked third. Defensively not great. Gave up 74 points per game. Opponents shot 45%. I know this program wants defense, guys, but if you want a, a high-energy, fun style of play to watch that could score a lot, this could fit the mold for that. And players like to play that style. Uh, they like to get up and down the court. They like to shoot threes. It's the way the game's going. You look at some of the other teams that have been successful in the NCAA tournament this year, that's what they like to do. Yeah, big tempo, number 50 in the nation in tempo. It's a faster tempo than Louisville played, and Louisville played faster than it's played in a long time on Absolutely. offense. Absolutely, yeah. and that culture, that energy is something this program badly needs. We know that, but this process to get here is something that I think is worth talking about as well. Your reporting has been great on the various candidates that Louisville has vetted out. How did we get here? <laughs> because last night we were talking about Richard Pitino as a candidate. We started <laughs> swinging for Scott Drew, and then there's Dusty May, and, and then we're here. Yeah, how did we get here indeed? And that, the problem is I wish there hadn't been so much reporting because <laughs> it went a long way. We started with Scott Drew. Dusty May was done enough that they had the press conference chairs set up. <laughs> that gets plugged. Uh, Josh Schertz at Indiana State, who thought Dusty May was taking the job, goes and takes a job at St. Louis. Yeah. Richard Patino, I don't know what happened, why Richard <laughs> Patino is involved, but we finally come to this place. Hiring a coach is hard and it's messy <laughs> yeah, well, and there's question. no secrets anymore with social yeah. media and that makes it more complicated. I'm sure Josh Hurd can't wait to hit the pillow and get his first full night's sleep. But, you know, in the end, once he starts coaching games, it's going to come down to whether he can win games and get people back in the arena and people won't remember if he was the first choice, the fourth choice, or the 44th choice. No, that's absolutely right, and I think that's important is that the process is fair to question, but if the results that come from it are what everybody wants, then nobody's even going to be thinking about this. The, the temperature of the fan base is worth mentioning, though. I, I'm seeing a mixed reaction when I look out on social media. It, it started negative at first when we were first getting wind of this. I think they're trying to accept it. What gauge do you get of the fans when you see what they're saying? I agree with you, but I think it's inevitable that once he becomes their guy, I think he'll be a hit in the press conference from the people I talked to said he'll bring a lot of energy. He'll be real exciting and people will realize he's the coach. You got to get behind him. Yeah, it's an important press conference. I don't know how many season tickets you sell just with the hire, but when you looked at who was left, there weren't many people that you could hire that were going to sell tickets. Richard Patino, maybe so. He'll just have to do that by winning basketball games. Yeah, I have a source who worked with him in the past who said he's going to be extremely uh, invested in the community, engaged. I think we know that this program in Louisville needs that badly right now to try and get the Cardinals back on track. But for now, that's Rick Bozich. I'm Eric Crawford. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not Eric Crawford. He's Eric Crawford. I wish I was Eric Crawford. He's a lot smarter than me. He's Eric Crawford. You don't, you, don't want to, you, don't want to, you don't want that. I'm Tyler Griever. We're getting out of here before I mess up again. <laughs>